In this video, we'll be going over how to use the profile of a surface feature control frame for compound curve surfaces inside SolidWorks MBD. So I have an example here up on my screen of a mold. So the easiest way to get started is by choosing the auto dimension scheme and then specifying what I want to use as my datums and then the features that I want to define. And in this case, I just want to define the overall dimensions of the mold. So I'll choose the front and back face into a width there, and then also the two side faces. And then SolidWorks should generate some basic dimensions for me. So we see overall width and length, as well as some perpendicularity feature control frames that were generated. Now we're greeted on the screen by the show tolerance status, which this little button will show us that green means fully defined, yellow will mean underdefined, and where we see no color, it means we have no dimension or constraint applying to those phases yet. So compound curved surfaces are going to be difficult or impossible to define with regular dimensions. Uh, so we'll commonly use profile of a surface tolerance for those, but we may have multiple different faces that we want to group into a single selection. So what I want to do first is go into pattern feature in MBD and form a collection. And this will basically allow me to group faces that I want to have a um, similar tolerance or identical tolerance together into a collection. So I'll form one collection for that set of faces um, another collection for this raised area here. And then finally, maybe a, a third collection for the two parting line surfaces. So now that I've got those collections established, I can assign geometric tolerances to them. I'll go into the geometric tolerance prompt and choose profile of the surface and set what I want to be the tolerance. This is a 3D tolerance zone uh, with respect to the datums that I want to be using and just make sure that I click to place that from a member of that collection. So as soon as I place that, you'll see that it updates showing six times there. And anyone that clicks on that even from within the 3D PDF or eDrawings Publish, we'll be able to see which surfaces that that's applying to. Uh, if I then check the tolerance status, we'll see that that zone is now green. Because it is a 3D tolerance zone, it's completely defined, in this case, referencing back to the CAD model for whatever the true dimensions are supposed to be. So we just repeat this process, applying the profile of the surface feature to the different collections that we created until we end up with a fully defined model. And it may be useful also to switch our tree display over to annotation-based tree so we can see these different constraints listed out. Now, another application of the profile of the surface tolerance is for a general tolerance. So I want to switch to a separate example. So in this case, we're looking at a cast part that already has most of its critical dimensions defined. If we show the tolerance status, we can see that here. Uh, however, we may be in the need of a general tolerance that would apply to anything that is not currently toleranced. And MVD supports that through the use of a general profile tolerance that we can insert. So this would be replacing the general block tolerance that you'd have in, say, the title block of your 2D drawing. So as soon as I apply this general profile tolerance, that's going to take effect on anything that does not currently have a dimension or tolerance listed. So when I show tolerance status, we can see the entire model is showing green. Now that's kind of the easy way out and probably shouldn't replace uh, you know, careful critical tolerancing and dimensioning where needed. This does allow for possibilities such as only taking the care to dimension and tolerance critical areas of the model and relying on the general profile tolerance for uh, aesthetic regions or other areas that may not be as important. So this general profile tolerance does not have any visibility in the model, so it's intended to be referenced in a note. 
And to do that, I can just place a note block into my part. Uh, we can, of course, link to custom properties just like we can within a 2D drawing. So if we have properties like uh, material or mass, we can reference those right into our note block. And when it comes to the general tolerance, we'll have an option for Dim Expert General Profile Tolerance right here that we can reference in. Uh, once we're satisfied with this note block, we'd want to make sure that we set it to our notes area by hitting the tilde key on the keyboard. And that's just so that the notes area is always staying flat to the screen. Uh, so as we rotate our model around, that notes area does not uh, rotate with us. So again, the general profile of the surface tolerance can apply like your general block tolerances would in your 2D drawing. So from here, we could begin the process of capturing 3D views and deciding what type of content we want to publish out. Hopefully you found this video helpful and let us know in the comments below if there's any other areas of DimExpert or MBD that you'd like to see more content on.